Yo. Hey, yo. I'm taking this shit right now. I'm I'm trying. Uh, your first question: What item do you use when you get poisoned by the bugs that charge you in AQ20? Uh, I remember buying those for everyone, and I was about to answer poison resistance. Don't tell me, obviously. I know they're not resistance potions. I know they're a cleansing, but I think they're called poison resistance. I don't know why I think that. Why can't I type? Did you request you permission? Type. Oh, let oh, me make it. I can make an editor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. So poison resistance. And I'm sure you're looking for the actual name. I know they're not. I know it just cleanses the poison, but fuck, I don't remember the name of them. How many yards should the pets be away from the bugs to absorb the charges? I'm thinking it's 10 yards. On the first boss, what do you do if you get the sand trap on you? S stay away from people? I think some shit like that. Mm. On the second boss, General Regex, which ad should die first? I think it's the champions. Not doing so good, guys. There's so many champions that were AIDS. I think they were the champions. It was the big fuckers. I'm going to say champions. Oh, that's What should wrong. the hunters and mages do during trash phase? Not when, arcane. Oh, I'm trying to think. When the Say waves again. of ads are coming. Yeah, 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 during that one fight that's scary. Uh, is it, this is still General Rajax. It's, it's still this boss. There's uh, eight waves of ads that come, and then you killed General Rajax at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know everyone's got a... I had to tank champions, I'm pretty sure. Wait, maybe they don't die first, actually. That's wrong, guys. Like, they don't die first. I remember, I think I was tanking the champions. Fuck! There was another ad that dies first. Because I remember the ad I was tanking, everyone just <laughs> killed last. Shit! I never targeted them because I tanked the other dudes. <laughs> oh, fuck. You don't, you don't have to be specific with their name. You can describe what they look like. I think they're like flying dudes. Flying dudes that have like wings with wings, like the same flying model of the dudes. 40 boss that does the spinning shit. That's I think. acceptable. That's acceptable. Um. Okay, what do the hunters and mages do during the trash phase? Blizzard and freezing trap. I would imagine. Freezing trap. Are we uh, for real? What should everyone do when Rajex thunderclaps the raid? Stop attacking, because threat drop. Good. Uh, Good. Rajex disarms the main tank. True or false? Mm. True, because I remember our main tank was wearing the disarm gloves. Someone made sure he had them on. Nice. Nice. Or disarm weapons, some shit like that. Nice. On the third boss, Brew the Gorger, what percentage health should you stop the DP? 10%. 20% uh, for our raids because they're extra stupid. <laughs> what should the person who gets fixated do? Bring boss to egg that raid leader calls them to. On the fourth boss, Mo, nice. what is the ideal comp for mana drains to make sure he doesn't hit 100%? <laughs> Ideal fucking comedy. Oh, shit. I mean, I know you're supposed to mana burn him, but I don't. I'm gonna guess at least six hunters slash priests. Like in total, equaling six is what I would aim for. I think that'd be enough. Hunters, priests. Uh, tanks pop recklessness to kill moan fast. Just hunters calls. and priests. Where's the warlocks? think true because you i don't know when else you'd need it ideal yeah, comp true. would be no mana users i'm just asking like what how how many, mana? how Big many mana burn, how many mana burn how many mana draining burning classes should you take ideally you take like five AOE damage. what are the three random abilities the big trash mobs in a siren's room have uh i forgot what they're called detonate uh, I'm gonna mute sound alerts for just a second. And the other one is called something. I know you have to run away. It's big explosion. I did not right think Soda was gonna get me. this question right. He actually remembered what happens when when uh, when Mom explodes. Hello. Say again. Do you care if I get the right name of the three abilities that the Assyrians room do? No, no, no. Just you can describe meteor. what it, what they are. Dot where people need to get out of raid. He can only do one of the two between Meteor, Meteor slash 
dot or AOE dot AOE dot. So you can stop stacking uh, when he does the dot. Little bit oh. of help. I changed the perms. Uh, what happens if you don't click the crystal in time? Yeah, I messed up. The I boss messed up with that. Will kill the tank with overwhelming damage. Why does everyone skip Iamis? He sacrifices someone. No, that's not it, but uh, he does do that. I don't know if you can avoid the sacrifice, though. But I, I'd imagine that mechanic is why people skip it. I'm going to go to uh, Soda's. That's an question on 18. That's a skip because we're in ZG now. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Name two abilities the Berserker Pats have in ZG and why they can be dangerous. The knock back and threat drop, I'm assuming. What mechanic can wipe the raid on the bat trash? Uh, the explosion, if the bat doesn't die in time after starting the cast. What is the only important mechanic on the bat boss? High Priest's Jeklik. The only important mechanic. I, I actually don't know. I'm going to, I would guess Dispel. I feel like that's it, but I have no idea. Um, on the high boss, Vinoxis, why do the ranged DPS get three separate stacks? The... Oh, uh, that's the the chain AOE will kill the entire raid if everyone is stacked. Uh, on the spider trash, what happens when you kill the red ones? A bunch of little spiders will spawn that have zero threat on anyone, so AOE is really scary there. On the spider boss, how many ads spawn at the start of the fight? I don't remember their fucking names. <laughs> uh, Marley. How many ads spawn? What boss spawns ads? I'm gonna, I, I, I think three? I don't, I don't know. On Bloodlord Mandakir, how far should the charge soaker stand away from the boss? As far as possible. But within range, within, but make sure boss paths back through the tanks. Well, as far as possible, that's good enough. Where I mean, it's pretty you close. Fairy, fire, etc. There we go. Let's do that. Uh, what should DPS and healers do if they get aggro on Mondakir after a charge? There's something they should do, I remember. Because they could also squeeze it in auto if you also get threat. So nothing. So I'm going to guess nothing. How many tanks is recommended for the Tiger boss? For Tiger 3? Oh. I thought my answer got moved up there. Okay. What happens if you don't kill all three boss at the same time? I actually don't know. I've never fucked that mechanic up. I'm assuming they heal? On the Panther boss, why should you try to avoid phase two? Uh, because the AoE the boss does is fucked, and you have to kill him with ranged from then on. What is number one prio for DPS on Jindo the Hexer? <laughs> Uh, number one prio on DP? I have no idea. Oh, kill the totems? Kill MC totems. Nice. He got it. You should be able to restore previous version to get the answers. Car, I just, what is the name of the I just typed them all in. And knocks back. The champions. Nice. He got that so one right. I didn't, I didn't know if he was going to get that one or not. On Hakar, who will always get mind controlled? 
the main tank or the highest threat. Nice. Good job. On a car, tank should pop recklessness on pool. True or false? <laughs> I'm a fucking druid. Um, I guess I will be a warrior. Recklessness on... I'm going to put false. I don't think so. But he's not tauntable, so Ooh. you do need to get top threat Ooh. ASAP. It, that's not right. I just don't know. I don't think a car hits that hard. I'm going to say true. Oh, he got it. Fuck it. He got um, it. How many seconds remaining should the hunter pull a son of a car... So the ray can soak the poison. Uh, when they should pull it? I mean, it should be pulled already and CC'd. No, we don't run that strap, but I guess you could. What happens if you don't soak the poison? The boss will heal off of people who do not have it soaked. Who is the best raid leader? I am. All right, I answered well. All, All right. right. Not bad, not bad. You actually got some of them right that I thought you were going to get wrong. So first off, pretty proud of you. Um, let's go. Let's go from the top real quick. I'll go over them real fast. All right. The first answer, um, what item do you use when you get poisoned by the bugs that charge you is elixir of poison resistance. So yes, I knew it was resistance. I remember fucking typing it. Yeah, the, these are like sp these are spammable. They used them in the tournament. You called this out many times in the tournament when you were casting about the hunter viper stings. This is the same thing they used in that tournament, and you'd use Big. it here. Um, I guess it's like seven. It's like fifty percent right. So maybe we do like really fifty. I mean, but I get like seventy. Uh, all right, I, I, I get. I kind of right. You you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't right. grade it like I graded the other ones. Please, don't be so technical. I was an asshole on the last one for fun. All right, one second. Let me, let me find a way to mark these cells green. I'll just change it to green or red if it's wrong. All right, all right. Okay. How many yards should the pets be away from the bugs to absorb the charges? The correct answer is like 10 to 20. I'm oh, sorry, 15 to 20. So fuck. that's wrong. Okay. 10 is too close. Okay, um, fuck. On the first boss, Kuranax, what do you do if you get the sand trap on you? Stay away from people is not the answer I was looking for. It's you move away from the trap uh, because the trap explodes underneath your feet. So you'd want to just move away from the sand trap. So stay away from people is not actually the right answer. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was just like... On, uh, yeah, it's fair. I need to like explain um, that. On second boss, General Rajak, what ad should die first? The flying dudes is the answer I was looking for. Yes. I was thinking it was those fuckers. Uh, like the, du the dudes that have the same like model as that one whirlwind boss in AQ40, right? That's correct. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do hunters and majors do during the trash phase? I was looking for blizzard and frost trap. Freezing trap oh, is the one that well, puts him that, in the that, ice block, but I know that, that, I know that, that you knew <laughs> what All you right, wanted. Fair. So I'm gonna give you the right answer here. Okay. I always get him confused, but yeah. Okay, what does everyone do when Rajax thunderclaps the raids? Stop attack, because it's a threat drop. That's the right answer. Excellent. Uh, Rajax dis disarms the main tank, true or false? True, I'm glad you remembered that and you remembered yeah. uh, the tank to put on his disarm gloves. Yep. Uh, on the third boss, Brew the Gorger, what percentage health should you stop on the eggs? 10% is a little low. I was looking for probably somewhere between 15 and 20, but you know, in 10, the, in our raid, 10, if, 10, 10 is fine. 10 is fine. All right. I did say uh, in I, our raid, I, we'll I personally 20. say 20. I personally say 20. Pause, give me one second. What should the person that gets fixated do? Let's see. Bring the boss to the egg that the raid leader calls. Yeah, he got that one right, too. He's doing pretty good, guys. He's doing pretty good. I mean, Elixir of Poison Resistance, like, he didn't know the name of it, but it was still close. Uh, the correct answer is 10 to 15, uh, 15 to 20. Okay, I swear I'm actually doing really well. Okay, all right. I might need to go to ZG. Vicky's saying she says it's a waste of time leveling because I'm doing so bad. 
right. So if you don't have a tank yet, I can actually go. All right. Uh, well, let's see. I mean, if you want to make sure you know everything, we can bring you. Uh, yeah. But let's see here. Let's let's get through it real quick. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, what yeah, should the first person do who gets fixed? What should the person who gets fixated do? Bring the boss to the egg that the raid leader calls. That's right. Yes. On the fourth boss, Moam, what is the ideal comp for mana drains uh, so he doesn't hit 100%? Six Hunter's Priests. Why did you not mention Warlocks? I mean, I, I feel like most of the draining is going to come from the Hunters and Priests because the Priests are healers. They only need to heal in the heal, and Hunters just put up Viper Sting, right? Warlocks have to drain mana. To the answer I was really looking for was like two Priests, two Warlocks, and one Hunter. Um, or something along that line. Six hunters priest with no mention of warlock, it, and honestly, six is pro is probably overkill. Um, I just think that you should know as a raid leader how to design your comp to beat this boss. I designed this test as like what That's the fair. raid leader should know. I'm gonna give you half a point for this one. All right, fair enough. I just guessed. I wasn't sure. I, I don't know how much you need for that. So I guess five mana drainers total. Four of which five, being yeah, five mana drainers, which a hunter's, you know, hunter mana drain doesn't stack. So if you would have said you need at least two oh. hunters, that would have been wrong because you can't double viper. So, you, okay, so you need one hunter and you need a certain amount of pre slash warlocks from there, equaling a total of five. Right. Okay. And you could bring more mana drainers if your DPS sucks, but like you have to remember the more people that you have mana draining, the less DPS you have. So it's a, it's a, it's a seesaw. Yeah, I see. What Give you're and saying. take. Uh, tanks pop recklessness to kill Moam faster. True or false? I put true. I don't know. False is the right answer. Fuck. The Does he actually do a lot of damage? Do you know? Do you know why they they they, they don't? You don't want to pop recklessness. Uh, you take a bunch of bonus damage. I know that. It's it's not it's the it? the damage would help. It's totally fine. The damage would help, but the tanks need shield wall for the for the next boss, and oh, it shares cooldown. Fuck, I didn't. Okay. I was thinking, like, do they need shit on the... Okay, that makes sense. You don't. All right. So you need to tell your tanks as a raid leader, do not pop recklessness on this boss. Only the DPS tanks can recklessness on this boss. Uh, what happens if Moam reaches 100% mana, explodes, and you take fall damage? That was the right answer. I actually thought you were yeah. going to get this one wrong because we... Nah, I, I literally asked during the raid. So I yeah. Asked. Oh, that's true. You were the one that asked. Okay, I remember I me. mentioned it, but I didn't know if you you remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, detonate meteor. Oh, sorry. What are the three random abilities that big trash mobs have in a Syrian's room? Detonate meteor and dot is the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. On the last boss of Syrian, at how many seconds left should you click the crystal? Ten seconds, but make sure the tank gets to the new crystal asap. This is this is like bonus stuff. Honestly, anywhere between uh ten six and ten seconds is the correct answer. You got that right. Nice. I mean, the important thing is to be near the tank, but can he get knocked while he's standing at the crystal on accident? He could get knocked at the crystal, and if you don't click it, it would be very bad because then now he's not near the crystal. So, yes, there is some bad RNG there, but it usually you usually don't get knocked around the around the six to ten second mark. So I don't think that would actually ever happen. I've never seen that okay. happen. All right. Um, what happens if you don't click the crystal in time? The boss will kill the tank with overwhelming damage is the right answer. He, is, he becomes yep. the hardest hitting boss in the game. I mean, it's not even close. It's literally a mechanic you're supposed to stop him from doing. Yeah, yeah. He, he crits for 7 to 10k easily, even more sometimes. What does, uh, everyone's, why does everyone skip IMS? He sacrifices someone. Okay, what you said is a mechanic on the last boss, but it, that sacrifice doesn't do much damage. It's not yeah, why you skip him. die on it. Why do you, yeah. I don't know. Why? So the reason you skip Iamis is because of your world buff timers are ticking and you're trying to get to ZG and kill Hakar with world buff still up. That mm -hmm. could have been an acceptable answer. The other acceptable answer is his trash is really hard. You have to basically redo the, the front of the dungeon trash packs, except instead of packs of three, they're in packs of five or six. Oh. And you need a rogue to distract them and split them in stealth and then you have to pull them separately with a rogue splitting them and it takes a lot a lot of time uh and there's two chargers in these packs instead of one bug that charges so anything like w you could have said anything about your world buffs it's, uh, it takes too long or like the trash I, is I, hard would have been acceptable answers 
our raid's not going to worry it. We are, we're not doing an AQ20 slash ZG back to back. Okay, not, that that's true. That's so a, that's a split. <laughs> so the, the 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 real answer I was looking for was anything to do with world buffs or um, okay. the trash is just hard. Uh, two two not, two okay, guys sure. that charge. And anyways, right. that's why that's why people skip it, especially in hardcore. No, I'm glad I fuck. I wouldn't have. All right, I'm glad we skipped that then. All right, glad all I didn't right. skip it because we would have done it and died guaranteed. Uh, not bad, not bad. Five out of sixteen um questions right. I'll say four and a half. Four and a half questions wrong out okay. of uh, out of fifth, uh, 16. So pretty good. What is that? Let's go we'll to figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're on ZG. Name two abilities the Berserker Pats have in ZG and why they can be dangerous. The knockback and the threat drop. Amazing. Good job. Yeah. What mechanic can wipe, wipe the raid on the bat trash? The bat explodes if he doesn't die. Perfect. Yep. What is the only important mechanic on the bat boss? You guessed this for sure. I did guess it. I don't know. Is it just dispel? No, he charges the hunters. That's why. Remember, I put the hunters five yards in front of the in front of the uh, healers. No, I don't. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay. And yeah. he's like the that's the first boss too, right? Yeah, he charges and does like two or three k damage if it crits. It can it can kill non armor wearing players. Yeah, so, so you, you can put hunter. like the paladins and hunters in front of the cloth wearers. It's pretty easy. It, it's not okay. important to be honest. It's not like super important, but you should know it. Okay. No, it is. Fuck. On the That's boss. I have to tell him. On the boss, high priest Vinoxus. Why do the range DPS get into three separate stacks? The chain AOE will kill the entire raid if everyone is stacked. That's the correct answer. Yep. On the spider trash, what happens when you kill the red ones? A, a bunch of little spiders respond that have zero threat and everyone, so AoE is really scary. Perfect. Mm -hmm. On the spider boss, how many ads spawn at the start? Sorry, on the spider boss, high priest tomorrow, how many ads spawn at the start of the fight? Four. Four? Four yeah, plus, th plus there's one ad that's, that's up that the uh, range will kill before the fight starts. So the correct answer was four or five. I would have given it to you. Okay. Uh, they die really fast, so it's not too important. It was just a bonus question I was throwing out there to see if you remembered. On um, Bloodlord Mandiker, how far should the charge soaker stand away from the boss? As far as possible, or you can fairy fire, etc., but make sure the boss pats through the tank. So this was not really a, a positioning. I'm glad you remembered why you do the positioning. Uh, the answer is farther than the range DPS, which is typically anywhere between 15 and 25 yards. Um, yeah, I could. I, I, that's. I knew that. I just didn't clarify. I, I think you knew the answer, so I'm going to give you a correct on this. Okay. What should DPS or healers do if they get aggro on Mandicure after a charge? Nothing. I said, no I said nothing because I thought maybe it's like a threat thing. So and you you get hit by Mandicure, and if you if you generate any threat during that, you get autoed as well. No, but I'm asking you what they do after they get aggro, if they get aggro. The correct answer is oh, lip Petri. or immunity or Petri. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because the healers, the healers are going to get aggro on Mandicure after the charge. They can't stop healing the main tank. Oh, uh, I see. So, so they just have the, fucking immune. That's, they that's, get charged, just immune. The, yes. The, well, they're, they're not if they immune. get charged, but like if they get aggro. So if, if Mandicure charges you... You're the soaker. Uh -huh. He's going to immediately turn and go for the healers or the ranged DPS. Um, and if they're cloth, what, what happens if he gets close to them, he can do a cleave and they can get one shot. So they need oh. to press an immunity uh, yeah. if they want to live. And in return, if they immune, they'll also drop aggro. So lipping okay. is the best thing that they can do in this. Nothing is the worst thing they can do. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. How many tanks is recommended for Tiger Boss to call? Three is the correct answer. Perfect. What happens if you don't kill all three bosses at the same time? I'm assuming they heal. Or like resurrect, but... Or resurrect? Know. You don't know, right? I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, they, they respawn with full health. Okay. All right. On, on Panther Boss Arlock, why should you try to avoid with uh, Phase 2? Because the AoE the boss does is, the, is fucked and you have to kill him 
with ranch. Yes, that's correct. He he does he, he instead of cleaving, he does a 360 whirlwind that does a ton of damage and he does it back to back to back. Like Yeah, it's cringe. It's a lot. We actually had to deal with it last time and it's just but he was so low it didn't matter. Everyone just lift and went in. What is the number one prio for DPS on Jenda the Hexer? Kill the MC totems is correct. Nice. On the trash before a car, what is the name of the mob that charges the knockbacks? The champions. I'm glad. I didn't think you were going to get that one right. Nice. I mean, I mean, that last raid definitely. It woke you up a little bit. What champions are. It, yeah, it cemented who the fuck the problem is. Yeah. You literally changed how you're going to do the pulls from now on from that raid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Normally we wait, but like, so I was, I've done it the past two raids. We try to just skip it and, and, and get it done quickly, but it's not worth it. You just got to wait for him to pat back. Yep. Uh, on Hakkar, who will always get mind controlled? Highest threat is the correct answer. Yep. On Hakkar, tanks should pop recklessness. On pull, true or false, true is the correct answer. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he had some crazy damage thing, because if he doesn't, it's like, yeah, why not? Oh, he, doesn't hit, he doesn't hit that hard, to be honest. And like threat is the main thing that matters in that fight, is that the tanks get high on threat. The reason tanks are low on threat is because they spend half the fight sheeped. That's why they need to gas it at the start uh, of the fight and get as high as they can. I see. At how many seconds remaining should the hunter pull a son of a car so the raid can soak the poison? It should be pulled and CC'd. I mean, like, just pull it right away. Why not just have it at the beginning of the fight? Just the reason... The, so, this is a strat. I'm not going to give you a point for this. This is a strat that can be done. However, the way that we do it, we pull a son of a car as a rage mob, then we kill it, and we go straight into the boss. For the tanks to get more threat. So the tanks can go into the boss with full threat. So okay. the correct answer I was looking for is 30 seconds. 30, okay. 30 seconds before Hakkar does the siphon, you should pull up a son of a car, have everyone kill it, and soak the poison. Okay. What happens if you don't soak the poison? The boss will heal off people who do not have it soaked. That's correct. Nice. Who is the best raid leader? <laughs> I fucking... I am. All right, that's wrong. The answer is, is, is Sardako. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would have given you half a point for Ampi, but that's it. Fuck. Okay. God damn it. Let me see. How did I do? We got to calculate. The one... Was that 35 questions? And I got one, two, three, four... I mean, I, I'll be honest. I did know, well, I just didn't, I didn't know. How many the questions thing, are there the total? Thing, but like, there's figured, 34 like, questions. Kill any mob at the same time. That's pretty much always what happens if you don't. Uh, so one, there's two, 30, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, nine, two, three, 10, four, 11, five, six, I got 11 seven, wrong. eight, nine, 10, 11. You got 10 and a half wrong. 10 and a half wrong. Which is a 24 and a half out of 34. Did I get, did I pass? Is that a 70? All right, who's got a calculator? 24. I'm seeing out. a lot of 67s. I'm seeing some 72s. It's 69.11. Well, I'm seeing, no, I'm seeing 72%. There is a half a point in there. If you calculate the half a point. Wait, 24.5. How do I do math, guys? Divided by 34. So 23 points. You got a 72%. Yes. That's a passing grade. That's a C, well, guys. That's a C. <laughs> so, I take that shit. All right. Oh, fuck. If, when's, when is raid, if I'm going? Uh, we're, we're actually about to form the raid right now and uh, head, to, head to ZG or head to AQ20. I do not. I only have uh, ZG and Ani. I don't know if that's enough. Not bad, guys. He got a C. That's an F in China. Oh, okay, I will we'll say. I will say. No matter how well you do on the test, guys, remember the only thing that actually matters is that nobody dies in your raid. You, as a raid leader, are responsible for everyone's life. You can save them unless C Dank is in your raid and he's just doing whatever the hell he's doing. Okay, that's that's it. I mean, I'm gonna try and control these people as if if they do something dumb, and I warned them beforehand. And they still do it. That's not my fault. True. Like, I, I, what, what am I supposed to do? So, 
And that's so gonna happen. Why, we weren't talking shit anymore. What happened? I, we we shook hands. We we had a truce. <laughs> like what what's going on, man? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not talking about you anymore. I'm only talking about what you what you did. True. He really. Oh is. my god. I've I've been doing a great job in these GKPs. Okay. Streamer streamer deaths are something you cannot outrage lead soda. So just prepare yourself for this. Okay. If someone is talking to their chat, they will die from ignoring you. And it's not your fault, and you have to be willing to let that go. That's one thing oh, I've learned. God. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of deaths already now. <laughs> I mean, we're going to do it like when someone dies, we're going to have replacements right away. Because there's so many people that aren't going to be able to be in the first raid, unfortunately. So the only way to do it is like, hey, when someone dies, we just, all right, to the bench. You know, let's see who we've got. And it was pull people in that way. Imagine Miz dies instantly. All this for that. All right, let's get the raid up and running. Ridiculous.